All basic training for Singapore Armed Forces recruits and home team trainees will be suspended from tomorrow till the 4th of May. This is in line with the COVID-19 circuit breaker period. More than 3,000 full-time national servicemen recruits have also been directed to stay home. Despite the disruptions brought on by the pandemic, some routines carried on. During the nationwide circuit breaker, full-time national servicemen have been continuing their basic military training lessons and training through the home-based learning syllabus on the SAF's LearnNet portal. For uh, some of our fourth generation activities, for those that we determined were less essential, we had also suspended training for a period of time and that included basic military training where some of our recruits uh, then went on a home-based learning package where they did some uh, exercises and activities at home. This home-based learning package helped recruits maintain their regimental lifestyle similar to that in basic military training. So basically in terms of maintaining operational readiness, it's about the SAF's ability to defend Singapore and Singaporeans 24-7. We must ensure that the defence of the nation continue to be enforced during this time of uh, COVID-19 measures. That's one of the key reasons why uh, we need, still need to continue to train in order to generate the leadership for the, each of the respective units within uh, the SAF. And the other part of it is to make sure that for future operations, our people remain ready to protect us when it's needed. Other enhanced precautionary measures during this early stage of the pandemic enabled servicemen and women to train safely and maintain operational readiness. The purpose and the mission was very clear. Keep the virus out of the SCF so that we can continue to do operations, so that we can continue to train safely. We put in place uh, measures like, for example, safe man management measures for our forces to be training in smaller group sizes, okay, for them to uh, adopt good hygiene practices. We spoke about implementing temperature screening. Uh, we talked about uh, social distancing and how we can continue with training and yet uh, maintain a certain degree of safety and prevent a large-scale infection throughout uh, the, amongst the rest of the servicemen. Whatever it is that we do, we have to make sure that our servicemen are being cared for. We have to make sure that we provide a safe environment for our servicemen to train in, for them to continue with their operations. While the measures exist to protect soldiers from COVID-19, commanders had to ensure it did not compromise the training safety of soldiers out in the field. We started with a mask on for our activities. As we learned a little bit more about it being less permissive to build up in the field environment, we allowed masks to be off. We also balance it with the requirements for breathability. Over 1,600 recruits from the SAF and SCDF resumed their basic training today. The first batch included 1,500 SAF recruits. They reported at Salaran Camp and Pasiris Bus Interchange at different timings to avoid congestion. The Singapore Armed Forces expects to resume full training and operations by mid-year after most of their personnel have been vaccinated against COVID-19. Defence Minister Ng Eng Hen says these jabs will help in achieving herd immunity, allowing soldiers to perform their security duties safely and effectively. We all understand it's essential for security, it's a smooth functioning of the SAF, to have the critical units vaccinated. You need to have a minimum level of manning. Prior to the vaccine, they achieved that by isolating themselves two weeks before duty, then doing their duty. That can be done, so a lot of administrative difficulties. Uh, this vaccine will help us accelerate that. Uh, I feel great to be vaccinated. I actually wanted to take the COVID-19 vaccination as I knew that obviously it broke myself, but also, more importantly, my family and the service personnel that I treat on a regular basis as a combat medic. And I know that it will make me more confident to carry out my job as well as protect those around me. Even in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, the SAF has not compromised on security operations. Units continue to perform critical operations such as island defence and the protection of key installations as well as maritime security, air defence and counter-terrorism.
they are basically guarding uh, and looking out uh, for either the waters or the roads uh, or the various uh, installations itself. Our guys have to understand that because of this nature, there isn't off-peak season or peak season that makes it necessary or not necessary for us to be deployed. With the growing scale and complexity of maritime security threats, accompanying sea security teams carry out checks on ships to ensure they are not harboring dangerous weapons or illegal immigrants. On a daily basis, we'll board the vessels out at the sea that is coming to Singapore territory water. We ensure that the vessel is all clear and have a safe passage to Singapore water. The reason that we do this is really to keep up a cadence, to send a strong deterrent message. Potential adversaries, um, terrorists, any threat to our security, they see that we are out there 24-7 and they know that there's no gap, there's no lapse that they can take advantage of. Air defence is paramount in Singapore. It's important that RSCF remains adaptable and competent uh, during this period of time uh, for our air defence operations, uh, even during COVID-19. I assist my platoon commander in the command and control of approximately 30 airmen operating the RBS-70 air defence weapon system for air defence operations. My main role is to ensure that my platoon is ready to mount air defence operations for peacetime. To ensure that our adversaries do not strike us, we have to ensure that our airspace remains protected. COVID-19 doesn't mean that the threats will stop and we will continue to keep our guard up and keep our skies safe. I have a sense of responsibility to protect the sky and to provide civilians to the other agencies. We defend Singapore by maintaining 24-7 surveillance, ensuring all the military and civilian aircraft flying in and out or flying close to Singapore are identified. There were slight changes to how we train, uh, but once we got the uh, cohorting plans and uh, our training schedules in place, the tempo went back to normal. Search and Rescue is a mission that uh, you cannot predict uh, when and where it will happen. It is very important that the RSCF remains vigilant and uh, prepared if such a situation arises for us to go out and uh, rescue people. Although the pandemic changed the way forces operate, the SAF remained steadfast in their resolve, giving Sing Points the confidence that together it can overcome all odds. We really like the insurance uh, for the country. The premiums are really paid uh, by virtue of us being there. It's about our uh, soldiers, sailors and airmen protecting our skies, our seas, as well as our homeland security, making sure that those operations continue unimpeded even in the face of COVID-19.